Greetings everyone, Great Fox 13, Lord and Master of the Quest Sandy, welcome to today's episode of Quest for Camelot. We load the game, we start at the entrance of the manor. Oh, screw this. Screw this! Ah, ah, ah. That's so not fair. Okay. We walk into the manor. You know I could actually grind these. I could walk in and out and slaughtering them just to farm a few goodies, but I am not going to do that. Yet. Eventually I might have to because I need some money or something, but for the time being I'm just playing smoothly. Without grinding. As smoothly as it gets considering that I die on every... I wouldn't say step, but on every complete mission. Yes, there was actually a dramatic pause in the middle of my sentence. Well, sort of. I kind of like the yellow song more. Well, is it really a song? Because, I mean, there isn't really any singing going on. So it's not really a songish song. What? Hey, what's up with you, dog? Could you, I don't know, calm down? Thanks. Weirdness. Okay, shut up and give me the shield. Look at my shield, my shield is amazing. Give it a lick, it tastes just like raisins. Okay, now we gotta go to the hidden switch again. And I better not get hit by any kind of ghost. Good, no ghost this time. You murdered me last time, I remember your... F I don't know if you have a face, but if you did have a face, I would remember it. Okay, so somewhere bottom left. Spawn to be a Ouch! Where did you come from? You know, keep your eyes right where you are walking. I am I was looking somewhere else and that's why I ran into a ghost. Can happen any moment in real life as well. You never know, it might be a ghost. Right in front of you. And you walk right into him. And steal his heart. Okay. Oh, I'm almost full healed. Full health. And we all know how quickly that can change if I fight up or down. Sweet deal. We got full health. Something tells me the ghostly door is still ghostly locked. Oh, hi, Melvin. Ruba is in the dungeon. You need the dungeon key to enter. You will need a grappling hook to reach the key. When you find the grappling hook, go outside this manor and look for the arrow on the ground. Did you know you can search chests by striking them with your sword? I want a grappling hook. Sweet. Though it probably is a quest item, but if it's not, it's going to be pretty... Ow! What the... What the hell? I hit him before he could do that, but okay. No use crying over spilled milk, I'd say. Hmm. That's a surprisingly bad area. Ooh. You acquired a grappling hook. Sweet. Okay, now in a moment. I can find out if the grappling hook is actually usable outside of specific scenarios. See, and I'm almost dead again. Okay, things change quickly. Nope, I cannot. Well, that blows. I would have liked if I had some kind of push, pull, push, whatever, forward, backward ability. Something useful, but nope, it's just a quest item. 
Why am I searching these chests anyway? They don't seem to contain anything of use whatsoever. Alright. That's him down. And now there's Merlin. Dodge that one, sucker. This mansion is surprisingly huge. There is a thing. I'm not sure what this thing is, but I want it. Because apparently heroes are all kleptomaniacs. Okay, so tell me what I just acquired. Large gem. Okay, they're just that was just money. Okay, so where exactly was the hidden area again? Because I'm still not sure, there is supposed to be something there, I'm sure about that. Well, I'm sort of hoping. And... Wait, is that like ghostly power means that I have to kill all of these ghosts before this thing opens up or what? I don't know about you guys, but I kind of don't feel like uh, scavenging the entire place for every single ghost. Uh, just lingering around somewhere. There's a yep. And that's the passage I opened. Okay. Alright. Oh, I see. So he told me to search the chest so I can accidentally hit the hidden switch. Whoa, that was close. I think I got them all actually. He ceases to exist, he just doesn't walk away. Okay, I believe I actually did get them all now. Indeed, I was right, I just had to kill all the ghosts and then the protection field would disappear on its own. <gasps> Hot container! Hot container. And... Compass. I'm not sure about you guys, but some old compass sounds pretty amazing to me. <gasps> oh my god, guys! I got a map! Sweet Jesus, I got a map! Finally! Oh my god! I can find my way. Oh god, I am so grateful right now. I got a map. Oh sweet I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. He's the map. He's the map And I didn't watch it all in a while so that might be a very very loose interpretation I'm the map. I'm the map. He's the map. He's the map. Map has Carter Map com save complete Okay, I saved and I can get my compass back. Sweet. I don't think anybody ever was that happy about finding a compass. But I mean, it's, it's just... Oh my god, all my ills are healed. I will never lose my bearings again thanks to the mighty power of the compass. The almighty compass, all hail the compass. Why is the compass a map anyway? I mean, if I found a map or something, I would understand that it's a map. But compass that, turn that gives me a map? I mean, you can use a compass with a map, but using a compass as a map might be a little... I don't know, impossible? Okay, maybe you can organize yourself by the stars, but I wasn't give, give you the outlines of the place. Okay. Grappling hook time. That's... Interesting. 
Okay. Oh my god, this thing that is even shows me where the knights are located. Wow. This is the most awesome compass I have ever encountered in my life. It shows me enemy positions, it shows me NPC positions, it shows me my way. It's just awesome. I love it. Honestly, I'm more happy about the compass than about the life container. Heart container. Heart container is so weird because it means it's a container for a heart. So apparently I'm literally ripping these guys' hearts out and stuffing them into con little containers which I carry around with me. And that's just freaky. You acquired a dungeon key. So I did. So I did. What just happened? You have reached a new level of sword strength. <gasps> oh my god, I'm actually gathering experience points, so I'm not just slaughtering them because I'm a homicidal maniac. I'm actually gathering because it makes me killing them because it makes me stronger. Oh yeah. Guys, you are so done for. I'm gonna go in a mass slaughter, man. Mass slaughter is actually a word. What a surprise. Mass slaughter. Manslaughter. Whatever. Okay, we killed everyone here. Back into the manor. Now we gotta advance. But I think before I advance anywhere, I'm gonna go on a bit more of a ghost hunt. Who are you gonna call? Kayla! Because apparently I'm a Ghostbuster now. I'm the new asset to the Ghostbusters team. I think I'm slowly starting to get a hang of the game. As you can see, things are running much smoother and I'm taking less damage. And I'm actually pretty much enjoying it. I can say uh, I've enjoyed many, oh, many of the more recent games that much. You see guys, graphics are not all that matters. In fact, graphics are pretty freaking optional. I mean, I'm playing Dwarf Fortress. You know what that means. If it doesn't, if you have no clue what, uh, what Dwarf Fortress means, look it up. Look it up, I say. I am playing Dwarf Fortress in ASCII mode. And after you've seen that, you will understand why I don't care about graphics. Ouch. Ghost in my face. Hey, Merlin. Great job! Now hurry in after Ruba. Don't let him escape. Escape where? This is a man. This is his manor or something. Or I don't even, wouldn't he escape through the main door? I mean, he only conquered the village. He doesn't need to take a hidden escape route. He conquered the manor. He conquered the village. He pretty much conquered everything there is to conquer. So, it's not like he has to be afraid or anything. Let's check the compass first. Okay, weird spider things, hard container, I believe. This is a pretty small map. Wow, those guys have a lot of health. Does this actually slow me down? I think it does. It's the small details like that. My face blade will cut you, you spider scum. Yeah, it certainly does slow me down. That's pretty cool. Why are they purple? Wait, I'm purple as well, so it's all good. Required a hard refill? What is a hard refill? And I feel stupid asking that. I suppose it's healing item. I don't know how often it is usable though. So I'm gonna save it up until I really need it. But hey, I made, managed to get into this dungeon without dying. That's the first one in this series. I accomplished something without dying first. Everything is a little purple down here. 
strange. But I mean, my health bar in the bottom right is still red, so it's not like it's a graphics glitch on my end or anything. It's just, just the way Game Boy Color works. Onwards to glory! Map. Map? I don't have a map! You can't do that to me, I am... Oh. So the little girl wants to save her mother. How cute! You're no match for me, you're just a child. Your father, Sir Lionel, tried to beat me and he may paid with his life. What makes you think you can do any better? Because I'm a girl and you don't hit girls. Wait, he's a scumbag, he probably does hit girls. But yeah. I cannot even save. Sweet Jesus, I'm done for. <laughs> he looks pretty interesting. Ouch. Bob. Is he slowing down? Now he's speeding up again. Okay. I gotta admit, this is not necessarily the hardest boss battle I have had in my life. But something tells me this is just a preparation for a curbstone battle. I was supposed to feel powerful and almighty, and then he suddenly whips out a super special attack and cleans the floor with me. Or he just flies off into the sky. Um, hello? There we go. Okay, so apparently... Not. And I just fell down. Welcome. Okay. That was... Interesting. I saw... I can't open my inventory. Hey Merlin, Mr. Sparkly Man. You show great valor, Kaylay. But Ruber escaped and still has your mother. He used a magic potion he got from a magician and transformed his minions into massive soldiers that are half human and half weapon. Now he wants to overthrow King Arthur. I think I've s I remember those from the movie. They were pretty sweet. It would be pretty awesome. Merlin received word that Ruber's mighty griffin stole King Arthur's magical sword, Excalibur. Trying to prevent the griffin's escape, Merlin called upon the silver-winged falcon, Aiden, for help. Aiden surprised the bees as it soared over the forbidden forest, jarring the sword loose from the griffin's clutches. Excalibur fell through the thorn-infested canopy and disappeared into the forbidden forest. For so Excalibur lost and Ruba's growing army, Camelot's days are numbered. Now Kele is the only hope is to stop Ruba's evil campaign. Kele must find Excalibur before Ruba does. Now Camelot is doomed. Merlin will remove the boulders that blocks the path to the Forbidden Forest so Kele can enter. Good, I managed to read it on time. That creature is... I think he's about to punch it, isn't he? I'm not sure how the movie went, but I think that's when he, when he, where he punched it. For losing the sword. Oh no, that's before, it's when he sent it, and there, there it's carrying the sword. Okay. There it's being attacked by Aiden. With its mouth wide agape. Oh. And that's where we continue onwards. Save game. Oh, sweet deal. I get a free save. Save completed. Okay, I get a free save. I check out the map, but I think that's enough for today's episode. My compass still does not work. Okay. But anyway. Grey Fox 13, Lord Master of the Quest Handy, signing out. Remember, subscribe, like, and do whatever you must. And I cannot stop you or don't want to stop you or whatever. I will see you all next time. I repeat myself, Grey Fox 14, Lord Master of the Quest Handy, signing out.